see you again on Inside OC. So now we do a little chat, and now the mics are still open, so we can yeah. talk about something else, yeah. you know? So, uh, uh, any, anyway, I'm sorry, We touched all the points you wanted to touch on. Just about, yeah. How about you? Did, did, is there anything you wanted to touch on? Yeah, it's no, a good time to talk about it. No, I think the, uh, the, the concept of, I, that key of the four parts working together is yeah. really critical. You, you, can't, you can't solve any of these problems in isolation. You have to work on them all collectively. And that's yeah. part, of the, part of the reason we've, we set the goals as large as we did as a community. Yeah. Uh, and, and the yeah. reason we brought everybody into that discussion. Yeah. So. I think you, you alluded to it, but I didn't get right into it. That matchmaking service, does, does it also match up with, not, with, uh, with uh, religious-based institutions? Well, they, they will work with religious organizations that, that cooperate uh -huh. with it. Most of the religious organizations that are serving homelessness, and there's really only, a, there's, there's a few, some of the churches yeah. do as well. Most of them um, don't take don't don't take HUD money, so they're not as as uh, automatically in the in the system or in the process uh, as the, as the uh -huh. others with two one one. So they don't get Section eight uh, money uh, yeah. vouchers or support or HUD, HUD funding. So yeah. so it's not as it's not as as deep with the nonprofits as it is with the uh, the secular. Okay, I, I kind of get the sense that there's not enough coordination between uh, religious-based, uh, you know, uh, groups and, and, and the others? Co coordination across the board needs to be improved or can be improved. I, I don't mean to say it's bad, but, but we can always do more than we, yeah. what we're doing. And I, and I think faith-based has a great place to role to play in this community, and they do, go, they do really good work. Yeah. Uh, I'm kind of curious, since you left the corporate world, do any of your colleagues say, you know, Max, uh, you know, are you crazy or come back or, or God, we love what you're doing? I mean, what kind of reactions do you get? I, I'd say it's more the latter. It's the, it's the we love what you're doing. Um, and it's nice to know that there is life after, after the corporate world and, and that there are things that you can do that, are, that add value or add meaning. Uh, I, I, I get that a lot uh, from people that just say that's, that's great. Yeah. You know, what, what are, so one of the, one of the fun things about United Way, though, is, is uh, because... People don't really know what United Way is. I mean, the video that you showed, I think, really right. helps a lot. But, but people, uh, people really don't know what it is. But, uh, but some folks will tell me, you know, gosh, you're working at United Way. That's great. I, I, they, they do such good work at United Way. You know me. I can't, I can't leave well enough alone. So I have to say, well, that's that's nice here. So what exactly is it about United Way that you really like? And they they say, well. Well, I don't know, but you do great work. Yeah. It's, 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 so it's kind of like this. I have this concept that United Way for many people is um, uh, 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 is, a, is a positive but vague concept. Uh -huh. Well, that's okay. If you play on that to the extent, hey, write me a check, right? That's right. You, you, you like what we do, and yeah. write me a check, and, and we'll do even more. There you go. But yeah. you know, it, there are so many uh, uh, successful business people who become philanthropists. They'll start their own charity for some right. cause. There's not many that have done what you have done to like take control of the whole mechanism. Well, yeah, that's probably true. I think there are some. Um, there was, actually, there was a, there, I had a counterpart down in San Diego, although he just got recruited uh -huh. to go back in and be the, 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 uh, the CEO for, uh, for, 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 to be a city manager. But he came out of the OC fire, and he was running the United Way in San Diego for a couple of years, and he just took a job going back into to, to, to be a city manager. To be a city manager, yeah. to go from... Uh, well, he was an know. interim city manager a okay. couple of times for this city, and, yeah. and they came back to him yeah. and said, hey, Well, maybe we that's the next step for you now, government. Oh, gosh. You can, uh, <laughs> uh, you, I, I can't, I, you know, God City bless, manager, run for mayor or something. God bless uh, the Newport people. Beach, right? You could run for mayor in Newport Beach. God bless the people that do that work, because, I mean, it, it's it's not easy, but it's, it's I, I think it's much harder than what I do. I mean, it's, it is herding cats. I, so so running a major division of a corporation, running, uh, running the whole... United Way of Orange County uh, uh, is nothing in your mind compared to, to being in government. <laughs> I, I, it pro probably only in terms of what I like to do and yeah. how I like uh, to work. I mean, I, it's, I, you know, I, you, I like to be a little bit more in control. Yeah. <laughs> I think uh, in the government, you're probably never right. in control. Yeah, yeah, very good. Okay, well, Max, people, so, it's yeah. been great. Thanks yeah. so much. My pleasure. Right. I enjoyed yeah. it. Thanks, Rick.